look at this one so I'm not too sure what went on here but it's uh, not the best <laughs> And welcome back to a brand new video. So today is supposed to be the hottest day of this year. So what better place to start than the, uh, the promenade and the beach. So we're gonna get right into the video and just see how busy it is, what people are doing on this, uh, this hottest day so far. So uh, yeah, come and join me. So we're gonna start off near the comedy carpet uh, and you can see the, uh, the tower there. Right there. So yeah, we're going to start off the comedy carpet and uh, we're going to have a look and see how busy it is. See, we've got a police already, so I think they're just doing a bit of a, a walk around. And, uh, and you see, it's, uh, it's quite busy. Looks like someone's got a, a bike near the comedy carpet, so I'm not sure what all that's about. Maybe it's, uh, it's just pulled up, had a bit of a rest until the uh, the scenery and so yeah we're gonna head over a bit towards the beach because like i said it's supposed to be the hottest day on record and it is an absolute scorching day so this is uh the beach in between north and central pier and you see the beach is a uh, look all those people right out near the sea line so they're certainly making the most of this and, uh, it's uh, great, and like I said, I think it's the uh, the first day of uh, the summer holidays. I believe they've all broke up. So yeah, we're gonna head on a little bit further and uh, just see if there's any events going on. There probably won't be, but you never know. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a walk rather than the uh, the main stretch. Just all drop down to the uh, the low level and just take a bit of the uh, a bit of the beach in and the uh, the sun and. Uh, I don't know if you saw about Leeds yesterday. What's all that about? Absolutely crazy. Uh, the uh, the riots and everything. So if you haven't seen it, I'll uh, I'll pop a I'll pop a little clip in the. Uh, you see the uh, the seagulls out look at them. Even they're uh, joining in the uh, the sunbathing. Look at that. Yeah, they're even uh, sunbathing with everybody else. But yeah, I'll pop a um a clip in now um, of what Leeds was like if you haven't seen it um, so yeah I'll, uh, I'll rejoin you in a few minutes So, uh, just approaching that central pier and see uh, a lady with the balloons out. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is a uh, Pirates Bay Central Pier. This is always uh, another great attraction. And uh, I'll just pan the camera around to the left and you see the uh, tower gifts. That's always uh, a great one of our little gifts. Uh, you flip flops, all sorts of things. Um, they sell in there. And there's also gold mile gifts and souvenirs. And there's many little shops all the way up what sell little things like that. So again, just look how busy these uh, these little hotels are. You see people uh, outside taking the sun in, having that uh, having that cool beer or uh, a soft drink, coffee, whatever your little tipple is. And uh, it's a really great location, this one, the new Mark Alley's. It's been open a few weeks now, so it's not new, but it is new in the in the grand scheme of things. And I'd imagine they'll pick up a lot of trade from all those little hotels and also passers-by. So you see, that is a, a busy one as well. And uh, it's only a stone's throw from uh, Central Pier. And these are great little stores selling uh, ice cream. There's many, uh, many around. They sell coffee ice creams, little uh, poppets, whatever they call them. So they're always a uh, great if you don't want to trick to the shop. And um, we got the old, uh, the old deck chairs out again. I think it's three pound for the, uh, for the hire. And uh, they're out. Yeah, three pound and some traps three pounds. That's probably a little uh, 
Borales. And who remembers the uh, the pub called the uh, Jack Russell, I think it's pronounced. And uh, you see that one is getting some word onto it. So they got the scaffolding up and uh, workmen are going in and out, which is, uh, which is great. So it's another old pub, rundown pub, and it's all being uh, modernized and uh, works on, which is absolutely fantastic. So just having a, a little bit of walk um, to the, uh, the job centre, what used to be here. Uh, so it closed down a few years ago now and they, uh, they relocated it. But uh, again, nothing has happened with this building. So it's still uh, shutters down. Uh, I wouldn't say it's boarded up, but all the shutters are down. And uh, yeah, nothing's, uh, nothing's going on with, the, uh, with that building so far. However, what is going on is just over the road and uh, a massive uh, housing development. So this uh, is a huge development. It goes right the way back, all the way near McDonald's. And uh, you can see, they're certainly cracking on with these. So these are Great Places Housing Group, Foxhall Village West and Homes England. So I'd imagine some of these will be uh, belong to the council and others privately, privately sold. And uh, I always try to uh, promote little businesses as much as I can. And this one is the Lindale Cafe on Princess Street. And uh, so I'm not sure if I've been there. I might, yeah, I think I have actually been in there once. Um, and I think I'll probably rate it sort of six, seven out of ten. So it's not too bad. Uh, it is what it is. Um, so if you are a bit, a bit parched and uh, fancy something to eat, um, pop into the uh, the Lindale Cafe. And look at these ones, all little. All different colours, you've got oranges, blues, greens, all little different colour houses. So we're just on um, a street called Coop Street and uh, I videoed this uh, a little while ago. Well, so, uh, first of all, it's like a, a bike sort of, yeah, and he's uh, probably recycling or something. But yeah, this is uh, Coop Street and uh, we did this uh, oh, several months ago and uh, these all used to be big B and B's and guest houses, and uh, they are renovating quite a few of them. But you can see a few of them um, still requires a bit of a, a bit of TLC. So a little little baby seagull, and I think a lot of people have got these in the gardens. So another new one, oh, well, shall I say new one? It's under new management, which is Triggers Cafe. So there you go, if you've been in there, uh, it's now under new management. So yeah, I just explored a few little uh, new businesses and things what is, is going on. And uh, look at this little queue. Well, there actually was quite a bit of a queue near, uh, that is it, Chris's, the, uh, the Pound Burger. So uh, I will pop in there one day and uh, say a bit of a, a bit of a hello. And this used to be Carlton House. And uh, just look at it now, you can see a, a pigeon in the, uh, the top of it. It's like it's just popped out of a bit of, bit of fresh air. So that's a uh, Carlton house. And yeah, that's, uh, that's another one gone, which is a shame. But another huge, huge um, place. So we're on Coronation Street. And right before your, uh, your eyes, it's called Pound Plus, which is 52 Coronation Street. Now this has been granted um, planning application, it's all been uh, approved to become a Rover's Return like Coronation Street. So there was a bit of objection um, to sort of the nearby businesses and residents. But yeah, so on this street, Coronation Street, uh, I'll just pop back to the uh, store. So this one is going to become, it's in the pipeline to become the Rover's Return the same as Coronation Street, so what do people make of that one? I'll pop the link in the description in regards to the planning and things like that. But yeah, it's going to be uh, become a Coronation Street. So how about that one? And there's another one, George's Bar and Restaurant and the Blackpool Hotel. So let me know in the comments if you've stayed here or had a bit of a, a meal at that one. But yeah, them two. Are, uh, looks like they're sadly uh, gone now. 
So yeah, let me know in the comments if you, like I said, you have stayed at that one or dined in at George's Bar and Restaurant. So it's not all doom and gloom and things closing down and boarding up. You can see the uh, Ruskin Hotel is uh, bursting with life and uh, everyone's enjoying a bit of a drink in this scorching weather. I'll just uh, squeeze past. And yeah, so it's not all uh, doom and gloom in Blackpool as everybody or a lot of people make out. Um, so it is on the up. There's so much um, developments in the pipeline and planning applications going through and all sorts. The, uh, the new theme park, which uh, could be coming to Blackpool, where the Bonnie Street Market is, and there's new businesses springing into life um, day in, day out. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hope this is the beginning of a, of a new Blackpool, a new era. So we're just on Leopold Grove. I think I pronounced that one right. And this one leads to the uh, the Winter Garden. So this is the entrance I filmed the other day. I managed to uh, capture a bit of a superstar signed autographs. So this one leads to the Winter Gardens. And we see the, the uh, Beaton Villas. So that's uh, I said it looks like a nice little place as well. And uh, the Claren House, Rosebank Villa Hotel. So all these look immaculate and uh, in superb condition. So uh, it looks like there's possibly um, maybe a few players um, who are coming in. So I think we've, uh, I think there is actually. So let's see if I can get over there in time. So I think it is, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about darts, but yeah, I think it, I think there was one player in a, is there. So that's one. Oh, I just missed it. He's just gone in. So I think we've covered uh, quite a bit of ground today. Um, like I say, it's all, uh, it's all seems people going on, which is fantastic and Blackpool. It looks really nice on, like I said, it's the, uh, the hottest day and uh, we could end up with uh, a Rovers return in Blackpool. So I think what I'm gonna do, head back to the uh, promenade briefly get a bit of the sea breeze and uh yeah let's get uh, let's get to the prom so just a bit of a walk and uh yeah i didn't know it was a uh, halloween just yet so yeah a bit of a dressed up a bit early so i'm just gonna make our way back to the prom to get a bit of that sea breeze and uh lucky buggers look at that all having a bit of a drink and join themselves taking in the weather uh, yeah, I wish I could join them. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll head back onto the prom and probably call it call it a bit of a day. Cause like I said, we have covered quite a bit so far. So we've uh, we've hit back on the prom now. Um, just have a, a bit of a walk past these shenanigans and uh, Yates's. It's starting to get that little bit busy now. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna hit near the sea and then uh, call it a day. So there's lots going on um, the weekend, so stay tuned. We'll put a couple more videos out over the weekend because uh, there's lots in store. So that is the, uh, the end of uh, today's video, so I hope you did enjoy it. And like I said, there's uh, plenty going on in Blackpool and plenty of new projects, which is, uh, which is great. Um, yep, so until next time, take care of yourselves. Everything will be in the descriptions in regards to the, uh, the new things coming up and uh, look on the community page for the, uh, the free giveaway. So until next time, take care of yourselves and it's a, it's a bye from me, bye bye.